Well, we are now returning our attention to decor and he is known for his clean line solid wood pieces and creating beautiful furniture using traditional cabinet making techniques. It is James Mudge's blood. Now the furniture designer and maker honed his skills from a young age in the workshop of his father's business. And today he's a well-known furniture designer and a pioneer in South African furniture market. Now we are joined this morning by James to get to know him and his pieces a little bit better. James, good morning. Hi, how's it? <laughs> I'm loving the pieces I'm seeing in front of me, but I see you, you also started off with, it's in your blood. Tell yes. us a little bit more about your journey because your brand is so successful. Um, well, I grew up uh, making furniture with my family. Um, my father made furniture down in Eisner and I worked with my mom for a long time after he died. Um, and I really learned about it from a very young age and through the whole process from cutting down the trees in the forest, sawing them, drying them and turning them into furniture and back then it was sort of doing it in the way it's been done for centuries so I learned about all the proper furniture making joints and all the techniques that sort of have been used over hundreds of years to make real furniture properly. But I love the modern take that you've done. So how do you, how would you say it makes your style different? So, so my style, so my story is basically I learned uh, all the techniques, which I still mm -hmm. use now. I've pulled that through. And then I studied architecture. Um, and that's where the sense of design comes into the pieces. So I've taken those old techniques and reinterpreted them in a fresh, in a fresh way to make them relevant to today's culture. And, and how important is the, the materials that you choose to use? Um, the materials are very inspiring, to be honest, um, especially in this day and age of sort of throwaway, a throwaway culture. Um, recently, I did a project uh, with Seat to Seat, uh, this chair over here, and it was all about the sustainability of solid wood, and I actually learned a lot, because I'd always felt a little bit bad about using chopping down trees and turning them into furniture. It's like chopping down trees is bad, but actually, the project enlightened me that the forests in America are huge and well managed as a first world resource. So what they actually, to in a nutshell, basically cutting them down the trees is good because it captures the carbon in the piece of furniture, which mm -hmm. stays in there for as long as the tree, uh, the furniture is around, which in this case, because it's well made, could be hundreds of years. And during that time, a new tree will grow up and absorb more carbon. So provided that the piece of furniture or whatever you've done with the wood doesn't get destroyed, it's actually, you can keep going with that cycle and capture more and more carbon. So it's a great conservation it's initiative. It's a great conservation yes. initiative. And it was really, we worked out the carbon neutrality of the chair, including the shipping from the States. And what, yeah, it works. I, I was uh, going to ask, what's the, what was the inspiration behind your seat that you've designed? Uh, this is a design I've actually been working on for a long time. And I said to them when, I to, when we took on the project, like, I'm going to launch this chair as part of your project because, um, you know, some people did a one-off design. This is a chair that I've designed to uh, make on, you know, more quantity of. Yeah. And making a chair is a lot of work. Uh, you need to check that it's comfortable you know, make sure that it's an original looking design, which is very difficult because there have been so many famous chairs made over, over the years. Yeah. And well, um, I know that you also, you, some of your pieces are in Netherlands uh, gallery yes. in the Netherlands. How does that make you feel? Um, I feel totally flattered and, and proud that, you know, a gallery from Europe would choose you know, Cape Town furniture designer to, to um, represent them. Uh, I think it's really inspiring for other South Africans to know that, you know, our products stand up in the global market um, and can hold their own. It's a huge compliment. Well, James, thank you so much for sharing that with us. And, you know, art um, craftsmanship really is, you know, part of the contemporary uh, aesthetic. And I think James's design philosophy really speaks that. He definitely is a true inspiration for any craftsman or creative. And it's great to know that his work is also being represented in the Netherlands. But don't go anywhere. We're going to take a quick break. We'll see you in a bit.